For nearly a decade, a member of the royal family has been dogged by questions about his friendship with a convicted paedophile. Tonight, for the first time, Prince Andrew speaks out. In a world exclusive, we go inside Buckingham Palace to ask about his friendship with Jeffrey Epstein. Did you trust him? Uh, yes, I think I probably did. And to hear him answer the allegations made by one of Epstein's victims about the prince's own sexual conduct. He knows exactly what he's done, and um, I hope he comes clean about it. I have no recollection of ever meeting this lady. What did he know about Epstein? What did he do on his visits to Epstein's many exclusive homes? Why were you staying with a convicted sex offender? Right. Over the next hour, we hear testimony from the heart of the British royal family about the allegations and what he says happened. Would you be willing to testify or give a statement under oath? Tonight, Prince Andrew, the Epstein scandal. I let the side down. Simple as that. Some breaking news right now. Disgraced financier Jeffrey Epstein has taken his own life while he was behind bars here in New York City. Jeffrey Epstein was found dead in his prison cell in August of this year. He was due to be tried in New York on charges of sexual abuse and trafficking of dozens of underage girls. He was facing up to 45 years in prison. Epstein's death robbed his victims of justice, and many of them gathered to tell the world how he'd ruthlessly exploited them. All I'm gonna say is today is day of power and strength. The billionaire financier liked to mix in very high circles, surrounding himself with a global A-list, including the Duke of York, Prince Andrew. According to Prince Andrew, he first met Epstein in 1999 through a mutual friend, Ghislaine Maxwell, daughter of Robert Maxwell. It's been reported that the prince flew with Epstein to his private island of Little St. James in the US Virgin Islands and also visited his other houses in Florida and in New York. In June 2000, Epstein and Maxwell were invited by Prince Andrew to be guests at a party hosted by the Queen at Windsor. The Dance of the Decades event, attended by 600 guests, marked four royal birthdays, including Prince Andrew's 40th. And later that year came another invitation from Prince Andrew. Maxwell and Epstein were guests at Sandringham. Epstein was first investigated by police in 2005 after the parents of a 14-year-old girl filed a complaint that their daughter had been molested by Epstein at his Palm Beach home. Florida prosecutors accused Epstein of paying girls under the age of 18, the age of consent in the US, to perform sex acts at his homes. But in 2008, a controversial deal was reached where he pleaded guilty to the lesser charge of soliciting a minor for prostitution. recounted abuse by Jeffrey Epstein. At this stage, there was no suggestion of any sexual contact with Prince Andrew, but the story and the picture would have made very uncomfortable reading for the Duke. Ghislaine asked Andrew how old he thought I was, and he guessed 17, and they all laughed. Ghislaine made a joke that I was getting too old for Jeffrey. She said, he'll soon have to trade her in. It was widely known that he liked young girls. 
But four years later, papers lodged in a Florida court did allege that Epstein had forced a woman to have sex with Prince Andrew on three occasions. That woman was Virginia Roberts. The details were later officially struck from the court records when a judge ruled they were unnecessary to the case, saying they were immaterial and impertinent to the central claim. The judge did not rule on the truth of the claims. Virginia Roberts says Epstein directed her to have sex.